So this is part two of the video series, series two videos basically. And this is part two of actually installing the seat covers from the seat shop. We've been very happy with these seat covers. They fit really well. Uh, they're made really, really well. So we're excited to see the final outcome of this. Today, we're gonna cover the actual cushion, which is the part you sit on, as well as the armrest and hooking up the controls. Let's get to it. Okay, so now we need to cut two holes here. One, where the actual shaft of that uh, armrest goes, and then two, there's a little pin here that rides in that armrest as well. So there's the center of our hole right there. And don't go too big on this. You can do this with a razor blade if you want to. And then you wanna kinda cut a little circle, which if you're out of practice with some big shears, then your circle may look like uh, some type of polygon. And that's fine. You don't wanna go too big. You can sneak up on this thing better than trying to go too big at first, but you do wanna cut that foam away. Okay, so that's pretty good right there. And then you can cut this pin as well. So that pin is gonna ride right here in this groove, and then we've gotta push this big pin through that clip. Remember, that's where we put that clip in. And make sure that you're good, that you've got everything else ready and before you push this in, because now you're gonna to have to really give it a good shove. And this is when you would wanna recover this as well if, you, if you've got a new cover for it. But let's get this in there. and try to pull it out, make sure it's clipped, but I heard it clip, so now we're good. Make sure also, this is a time when you wanna clean any of this stuff up, uh, you know, like your seat frame, or if you're going to you know, shoot some paint on it or whatever. So like this, this is where somebody had tried to dye it before. Go ahead and shoot a little paint on it. And now we're good. I don't have the cushion on it yet. I'm not going to get paint on the cushion. So make sure you dress all that up right now. So now we need to put on our little seat plastic that goes on here. So we need to cut that hole bigger. Uh, but also, I need to cut out these spots right here as well for the armrest. So make sure you know where the hole is. And again, start small. Kind of work your way into it here. And you don't need a huge hole. I'll show you here in a second. Okay, so now you can take, as long as you got your hole all the way through, make sure you got it cut all the way through. It looks like I didn't have the foam underneath cut. There we go. Take your finger in there and just kind of open it up. Now you can start on one side and just kind of squeeze this over. There we go. But you do want it big enough to where the material kind of gets out of the way of it. There you go, you can kind of tuck it down. There we go. There we go. And kind of tuck the leather so it's kind of pointing down if that makes sense and then comes back there we go and then we can put our covers back on remember the hole goes toward that little button pop that on pop that on and your headdress and just slide right down so now we'll address this guy right here which this only pops in with the there's a little metal piece right here and a little metal piece right here so we just really need clearance for that so that metal piece is right there so it's right there 
and then the other metal piece is right there so i think we're good now i can just slide this up make sure that material is free of those metal tabs and there we have it now i can put the seat belt back on make sure you have it turned the right way And then you kind of imagine it going across your lap on how it should lay because it's got a, like a quarter twist in it. Get started there. Now we got to put our plastic cover back on, so make sure you've got it cleaned up. And then the seat belt goes in this slit here. Clip the back one into place. Pop that in. And that one pops in. Now it's in. All right, so what we have here is the driver's cushion. Obviously, you can see by the all the torn up bolster here where you get in and out of the truck. So it's pretty common for all that foam to get torn up. Uh, so anyway, first thing we want to do, we want to make sure that we got the right cover, especially if you're if you've ordered, you know, both sides, the passenger side and the driver's side. And there's a difference here because on this side we have more vinyl or more leather. Uh, so you can see right here where it goes around here and that's the side you're gonna see when you open the door. And over here on this side we have more carpet because, and there's a cutout here because this is actually where the, where the seat belt um, connector actually runs up here. So there's a difference here. You can actually install these on either side. So you gotta make sure you're installing the correct one. That's why I'm telling you this. So this side here, it's kind of got the cutout, like the cutout right here, that is for the seat belt side. And this side is for the side you're gonna see to where you actually exit out the door. So anyway, make sure you have the correct seat cover to put on here. Now let's get the seat cover off. Use a little straight slot screwdriver if you want to hook tool, what have you. And usually this is what happens here. Over time, this comes unhooked from the seat just like you see here. And so all we have to do is unhook the sides and just kind of roll this off. By the way, this is sharp metal here. It will cut you, so be careful. So now we've got that rolled off. Just turn it inside out. And this is where if you're, if you're reusing your foam, you want to put your finger in here and we want to separate this seat cushion from the Velcro or what will happen is it will tear up the Velcro like you see here. So again, you just kind of run your fingers in here and separate that from the Velcro. That's what sinks those stitches down in there to give it a nice, uh, nice look and appeal, if you will. So that's what, where you see these seams here. That's that Velcro sticking to this material right here. And we'll have that on the new seat cover as well. So if we're reusing this foam, we want to make sure that this is intact here. Now, if you have it like this and it's torn up, it's not a big deal. You need to use some uh, contact cement. And put your layer down there. And put your layer here. Let that tack up. So let that sit a couple of minutes and then you can put it down there and push that down nice and, nice and hard and that should be good enough for you to stick your, uh, your cover to it again. Now, in our case, our foam is torn up pretty bad and the cool thing is the seat shop actually has foam called the Dura Foam that we can replace this with. So we can take this and throw it away. So here's the new Durafoam from the seat shop and really good looking foam. The form is identical to the factory other than having a nice, looks like a, uh, almost like a layer of um, some type of protection here. So it doesn't basically, so your springs don't eat through the foam. So like that, but all the form is there. Sits nice on the frame itself. Yeah, looks good. So let's get this cover on here. Flip that back over. You either want to make sure your hands are clean or put on a set of clean gloves or clean your gloves. But anyway, 
we don't want any dirt getting all over this. First thing I'm gonna do is turn my cover inside out. Not hard to do on the seat cushion. And again, make sure you have the correct one. And then I just wanna kinda of line up my outer seams on the outer ridge of the cushion. Now, I will say it's a little easier when you have that old cushion because you can actually see the seam right here kind of integrated into the cushion now after years of use and you know where to line up uh, that double seam from this new cover. On this new one, kind of got to guesstimate, get a good idea of where we want this front side landing. And then also you're going to know because where that's going to hit on the Velcro as well. So just kind of get an eyeball from both of your seams running down the, the centers here and then the one running right in the center and make sure you're lining up. So just kind of get a good eyeball of this. And that is looking pretty good. Yep. yep. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this seam down, push this seam down, rub that in really well. Same thing here and here. And by the way, you can take a look just by turning it over right there and knowing that you got that on the right spot. And this is the main one here because you can't have much uh, fore and aft, if you will, without missing that. But get that rubbed down really well and that's gonna really help that seam to stand out and also to keep this nice and taut. We'll pull a lot of these wrinkles out also once we roll this over, but we need this center part pretty much dialed in. Man, that looks good. Okay, now we're just gonna take this, put our hand in here to kind of hold this, kind of support it. We want that seam laying down and just pull this over. Same thing here, slide my hand in, support that right there, get that seam laying down, pull that over as well. Not rocket science here, figure this thing out. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure that my area is clean. You may wanna lay down a towel or something. Because we're about to flip it upside down. And this is where we want to make sure that our cover looking decent, that our seams are kind of in the middle, if you will, splitting the difference. Everything looks okay. And then what we have to do, I've got to pull this all the way over to this lip here. Now, I will say with your old foam, this is not a diffi terribly difficult job. With this brand new foam, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty firm. So I bet I'm gonna have a hard time stretching this out, but it's okay, it will work. I can almost promise you, almost. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these over. And they just go over and lock on that metal just like that. There we go. Do the same on this side. Lock that in like that. Now, here's the kicker. You see how much I have to pull here. And again, this needs to lock over here. There we go. Look, and look at that. I didn't get this pulled over like I should have. There we go. So don't mess up like I did. Make sure that's pulled over like it's supposed to be both those corners now i can pull that over and that looks pretty good now now's the fun part so now this right here has to turn over that way and then another almost 360 degrees or 180 degrees from there so there and then over like that and it locks on to this right here so does that make sense this flipped upside down locks into the into this metal right here and right here, they're kind of locks where those gaps are right there. And you'll actually hear it click because you'll think, oh, I've got it, and you don't. So anyway, this could be tough, and especially with this new foam because you've got to compress this foam 
and get this turned over and locked on. And you may want to get a helping hand to do this because it is a fill to get it. Once you kind of start working it all the way down, it'll start holding on there. There, it just clicked. So you will kind of hear it and feel it click when it clicks into place and actually locks onto those tabs. And if you don't get it there, it'll do like it did the last time and it'll come off. So you'll notice a little bit of slack in your seat cover and that's because it's come off this front edge. And, wow, that looks really nice. The soap and water. Something really mild. This is literally just mostly water with a drop or two of dish detergent. Just wipe it down real quick. Any sweat or dirt that you've gotten on it. And that looks really, really nice. You can work this, kind of slap it, make sure your, your seams are sunk. All right, so we've got to take our cushion here. By the way, forgive the noise, we've got a huge rainstorm outside. And basically these pins right here, down here at the bottom, they're gonna line up here and here, put them in the hole, slide them down, and then we'll line up the bolts to go in. But the first thing we need to do is feed our plug through here. That goes through there. Make sure all of our other lines we got this one green plug over here. That's clear, that's clear. I can go ahead and plug this side one in. Just make sure all your plugs that are gonna plug in are gonna line up well. Make sure this plastic piece is on. Now we can line up those studs, those plastic studs down there in the bottom. And then they just slide down in that track, just like that, okay? And that one's good, should pop in right here. Pops in there, and this one will pop in right there. So you can go ahead and mount all those. We can go ahead and put these studs through right there, right there, and just start these. Just get those started. Now we can finish plugging things in. Put right there. And by the way, it's hard to mess any of this up because it all has unique plugs. There. Plugs in there. This green one here. Then we can tighten these. Now don't do a stupid mistake. This is a really, really stupid mistake. On this armrest, this is a new cover uh, from the seat shop. And it's an awesome cover. It fits really, really well. The stitching looks absolutely superb. Looks just like the factory. Uh, got an easy zipper system where you can put that on. By the way, we'll, we'll show you how to uh, mess with that zipper here in one second. But you see this? You see that cut in my vinyl right there? I put that there because I tried to put this on backwards and went ahead and cut my hole for that uh, shaft to stick through and it was the wrong side. I had it on backwards. So take your time, make sure you know which armrest is getting covered. Also understand which side it goes on because it does have a contour to it. It's almost teardrop shape. You see this curve here and it's straight here. So I did that, that's a huge goof. So now I've got to buy a new armrest cover and put it on later. But that's the cool thing is I can put it on later. And by the way, on this, on this zipper like this, you see where I tucked it away? What you can do with this,
because you really don't need this zipper once it's on. I'm just going to take some wire cutters and cut that off. Take some needle nose, slide that up. And now we don't have that long tag to either try to tuck in or what have you. And it's just that. Okay, this is an area where we want to kind of sneak up on it. And, and what I mean by that is obviously we need a hole in the side here where these controls are going to mount. Now, this one's actually broken and I'll replace this later. But for now, I at least need to get it in there because when you put these in, you need the controls to be able to work to move the seats backwards and forwards. So get an idea about where this goes. And by the way, you can feel in here as well kind of where the material is and uh, where the frame is and try to hit the center. Again, kind of get, get an idea here as well, kind of how far forward. And by the way, you can't just cut a slit. You are going to have to kind of open it up. So again, keep eyeballing this of kind of where it goes. And come forward a little more. Back a little more. And then I'm going to Open that up. Still got to take that a little further. Again, better to make a bunch of cuts than to make one too big. So plug this front one in first. And kind of slide that in. This is just a little, mostly water, just a couple of drops of dish detergent. It's a real mild solution. I would say clean this with as, the mildest concoction you have that will clean it up. Probably just got some fingerprints on it. So a little bit of elbow grease. Well, try to keep the grease out of the equation when you're messing with new leather. Anyway, we really like these new seat covers uh, from the seat shop. We think they turned out very, very good. Now, I will tell you this that the cover on the Durafoam looks so much better than the cover on the stock cushion. And I'm sure because that stock cushion, or I shouldn't say stock cushion, that cushion that's 20 years old, 18 years old, has probably deteriorated a little, even though it didn't really show it as far as looking at it. But I'm sure it's uh, collapsed a little bit because the cover doesn't fit near as nice as on this brand new foam. So if you really want that seat cover to look just pristine, I would recommend buying the Durafoam cushion. Um, also, you can buy heaters from them, which we did not do. We goofed on that one. We should have brought, bought all new heaters. Uh, heaters are going to run you about, I think they're like $69 for the cushion, $69 for the backrest. Um, armrests are going to cost you about 40 bucks. I really made that huge mistake of putting that hole in that armrest. So looks like I'm going to have to bite the bullet and buy another cover. Anyway, for now, it's all on. Really happy with this. Um, take your time. It's not rocket science whatsoever, but you can mess things up. As I proved to you, I was kind of rushing through things and I've done this many, many times. Um, but I still put a hole in the leather in the vinyl. Um, and by the way, so, uh, when you, when you deal with OEM, you know, from the factory leather seats, typically the leather uh, up here or the actual material up here is leather and the boxing around here is vinyl. Same with the seat shop, they're kind of mimicking that same OEM. So if you notice this is vinyl, well, that's the same way when it comes from Chevrolet or when it comes from Ford. Usually they box everything out in a vinyl, I'm sure for cost as well as probably wear also. Um, but then the main parts is where you actually see the leather. As far as the leather and the vinyl and the stitching, it all looks pristine. My dad's been doing this since like 1963 and he was very impressed looking at the seat covers. You know, these are the things that he made by hand for years and years and years by cutting these apart, making patterns and, and sewing them back together. He was very impressed uh, with this. By the way, he was behind the scenes kind of telling me what to do, reminding me of everything. So thankfully he was here. Uh, anyway, check it out from the seat shop. I'll tell you the cushion runs you about, uh, I think 209, like 209. That was for our Chevrolet. Um, the backrest was, I think, 229. And then, as I mentioned, the armrests were like 40 bucks. So gives you an idea. And then the Durafoam was 125 bucks. Uh, but pretty much, we've got a whole brand new interior in the truck, 
Really excited about this. Check it out for yourselves. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already? And by all means, if you hated our video, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.